Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back again with another video. And uh, I had this video set up where, uh, you know, you could hear this woman talk and she would, you know, she would tell everyone what she was doing as evidence. But then Twitter, I, I had the video on Twitter and then Twitter does this thing where if I look at something that could be extremist content, in other words, uh, probably extreme lefties doing something bad, they have this tendency to reset my entire Twitter feed. So that when I go back in, it jumps me up to the top and then I've got to scroll through hundreds of thousands of tweets that are made in order to find something. It's a needle in the haystack. So I was like, got to scrolling down trying to find it and then I hit this. I was like, eh, fuck it, we'll do this picture because, I mean, this kind of has an idea. This kind of relates to what I'm talking about. Anyway, you have this chick on here, pink haired, not surprised. Uh, probably a liberal would not be surprised. Probably with uh, Antifa, not surprised. Also, she's white as a freaking ghost. Really not surprised by that. Sitting there talking about everything that's been happening, you know, with the, the vehicles, you know, the, the people being hit in protests and whatnot, and the roadblocks that's been happening. And you have this chick talking. She's like, if you think that they're going to hurt your friends, you can buy, in other words, if you're you're threatening this person and you think you've probably pushed them to the point of panic and the mom in the vehicle with her two toddlers is about to go mama bear, throw it in drive, and just plow through, uh, what you can do is you can get this, and she gets a $10 glass breaker out, put it on your backpack, you know, then you can rip it off, and you can break the glass and get access to the vehicle. Yeah, I'm, I'm not kidding. And then she goes as far as to say, and they even come with a seatbelt cutter so you can cut the person out of their seatbelt and drag them out. What part of that? And that those are her words, not mine. I'm, I'm speaking her word for word. What part of that bullshit do you hear that makes you think she's got for the... What are you going to do? You drag this person out? We've seen what happens when they drag a person out of a vehicle. That unless you've got a gun, you are fucked. Okay, they are going to beat your ass. If they're not going to beat you, they'll probably kill you. We done seen, um, or was it? I think it was Nevada, where the guy was walking up to vehicles when they get him stopped, and he starts shooting into the vehicle, hit a guy, uh, attempted to broke someone's glass out with the pistol. I'm telling people right now, this picture right now you see on the screen, this is what I want. Okay, <laughs> for this type of protest situation right now, for when people come up and start trying to bust my glass out of my vehicle, it's like, okay, babe, they're walking up to the vehicle. You take control. If it's necessary, hit it in four-wheel drive and we'll take off. The moment the glass breaks, the 50 cal, co the, actually, no, that's not a 50 cal. That's a night. No, well, that is a 50 cal. <laughs> 50 cal comes out. It's like, okay, we are plowing the road now. But I mean, how stupid do you have to be to not understand that this is horrible optics for your movement. You're talking about dragging innocent people who are going to get groceries, who are going to pay bills, who are probably trying to get out there and deal with a fine that they've had, that they've been levied because their grass was too high or something. The city just decided to hit them with a fine. Or they're probably going to the hospital to, you know, to get results for cancer treatment. And all of a sudden, you guys are going to rip them out of a vehicle for the possible reason of beating the crap out of them. And you're out there promoting a product for the intent purpose of dragging people out of a vehicle in the middle of a mob and, and assaulting them? No. Let me tell you something. Shit like this, shit like that, where you're sitting there on the internet talking about how you're going to brutally beat the crap out of people and you, oh, this is a product to get them out of the vehicle. Shit like that is the reason I go armed just about wherever I go. No lie. I 90% of the time, I'm riding locked and loaded. I've got an AR-15 in the vehicle and a sidearm. Should this come down to the point, we are either plowing our way out or shooting our way out. Okay? I'm not the moment the glass breaks, as long as y'all don't open the door, as long as y'all don't break the glass, everything will be fine. But the we will try to push very slowly through the crowd. But my boss has done said the same thing. He said the moment they break a window, our lives are in danger. Everyone is expendable at this point. We are, he said, I'm throwing a four-wheel drive. He said, do not scream at me to stop. He said, we are not stopping. We are getting home. That's our job. You idiots don't realize that shit like this, after morons like you have gone out there and shot a, a seven-year-old girl when her mom pulled up and y'all just opened fire onto the vehicle for no fucking reason, that was BLM. I, I don't care if y'all going to sit there and say, well, we condemn the violence. I don't care. Because it's your group 
that started this. We can very easily say, if y'all were not out there acting a fool, trying to make trying to make independent countries stupidly on federal dime, mind you, you don't have enough balls to go out there and do it yourself, do it your fucking selves with your own fucking money. You want to ask for federal, you want to ask for federal finances, and then say, oh, we don't want the police over, we don't want the police over here. After we saw what happened to Chaz, the two, the fourteen year old, sixteen year old black boys getting shot for doing donuts, donuts as a redneck, I can tell you. Doing donuts isn't a shootable offense. We do it all the time over here. These boys wanted to have fun. That was it. You told them that this was a utopia where they could be free, and it turns out they weren't free. When this black woman shows up here and you scream Black Lives Matter, her daughter didn't mean shit to you people. And on the note of the daughter, this is what should happen. Atlanta police, you get the guy that shot him, you stick him in a room with his dad and live stream it. Because I want to see that dad get some vengeance for once. I'm sick and tired of watching these judges, these idiots, you guys pull them up, pick them out of a crowd, arrest them. And then your prosecuting attorneys over there just say, oh, we're not going to do shit. At the very least, give the dad his five minutes. Anyway, folks, I'm the last Raider. Please sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit the bell for notification. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty, and probably stay armed. Up. Probably stay armed with all the idiots that are out there. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.